about the King Street Pier. Can you pull some guys off the truck yard to cover it? There's a car is one on that property. Yeah, uh, they missed a chance. Um, Johnny fell asleep at the wheel last night, or I, he probably didn't get much sleep at all. Why? What happened? Well, I know that you warned me to go after uh, Johnny, so I just handled it myself. I hit him with something even better than a bullet. Sonny, what'd you do, and should I be worried about retaliation? It wouldn't hurt you to tighten up the, the security, but I don't. Th I think Johnny's going to go after Anthony, as opposed to being worried about us. Why? Ready for this? Anthony is not Johnny's father. He's his grandfather. I don't. I don't understand. Anthony had a, another kid. Yeah, well, you know that. I, I had the bad luck of being married to her. Yeah, Claudia, Claudia is Johnny's sister. Yeah, not a, no. Yeah, not his sister. No, his mother. And guess who his father is? Gino Salido. The guy who was married to Tracy? Yeah, and died on the wedding night. Yeah, but he must have been 30 years older than Claudia, at least. Have you, have you seen the birth certificate? I gave Johnny the coffee, right? First he didn't believe it, and then he had to, because it's real. All that crying they used to do and hugging. She was lying to him every day of his life. I'm sure Anthony didn't give her a choice. Anthony's going to wind up dead. Johnny's going to be charged with the murder. He's going to spend about 20 years in prison. We have dismantled the Zakars, and we did not have to lift a finger, Jason. I guess that's just business, right? Okay, I don't want you to have sympathy for Johnny because he's in that case. His sister, I mean, his mother is in that case, and his grandfather is in that. From what I hear, I hear that Gino Salido was in that case also. When well, people are born bad, I don't care how much you try to help them, they're always going to have crazy in their blood. Should you wish McCall and Jackal to resume the investigation? Greetings, loyal think... partner. Hey, greetings. Do you think we should offer a discount to our returning clients? Uh, we're looking to jumpstart business. We have no business. Needs. We don't have a business. We haven't had a billable client since last summer. We have lines of clients that, we... that wish our services. Lines? Who? Uh, well, why didn't you come here? Well, because they represent a conflict of interest uh, that could compromise both our moral they, standards. Who, wait a minute. Who are our clients, Spinelli? S-O-F-O-S. It's not even a word. Okay. It's an abbreviation for spouses of, <sighs> of Spinelli. Yes, of course. I'm calling Jason because what? I hate when you get... No, like, I can... Let, let, let me attempt to clarify. I, I have friends who I network through my cell phone that give me research and information. Yes? S-O-F. Yes? I right. know. All right. Uh, so in exchange, I provide them with odds on various sporting odds. events. Odds? Are you a bookie? We, no, I just predict the outcome of games. Whether they bet is their, is their decision. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't see the conflict of interest okay. still. Okay. The, uh, the FOS are making a boatload of money and are consequently neglecting their spouses. So, if we take on these significant others as clients, we are profiting from a situation that I caused in the first place. But the thing is, I, I, I do feel responsible for this domestic disharmony, and I would like to do something to make amends. Okay. Well, why don't you give me the names and numbers of these people, and I will conduct a preliminary hearing. Well, I should first have to reconsider taking on new clients, um, considering the obvious circumstances. As it appears, if Fair Smith is contemplating motherhood, I think it behooves me as your just friend. Just a catalog, yeah, Spinelli. I'm just, I just want to reiterate that I, I, I'm happy to fill in for you should you and Stone Cold desire to start a family. Yes, well, that would be a big decision. Yes, especially fraught for you and Stone Cold because you both have lost children. I know you're trying to help, but you know that this is a very sensitive subject I, I, for me. I'm just trying to express confidence in you and Stone Cold as prospective parents. I just don't know if I'm ready. If we wait until we think we are ready for life's challenges, oftentimes they pass us by. But I, I've never known you to shirk adventure. And, and a kid is the greatest adventure of them all, isn't it? It is, but a child is a gamble. It's like playing the slot machine on the genetic gene pool. I mean, what if he or she doesn't get the best of he and I? And Well, I mean, you obviously hope that they will. Yes, you hope, but... My mother. I mean, come on, she's a Cassidine. I've heard they're crazy. Yeah, even the most wild and wanton spirits can become a paragon of peace with the right parents. And who better than you and Stone Cold? Anthony's crazy on a good day. You've got to get ready for him to come after you. You think I don't know that he was already in here trying to, you know, talk me down and talking nonsense? I saw him. He was hurting. I see it in his eyes. I have some ideas for the restaurant. Is this a good time? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, I'll talk to Bernie about King Street. Okay, this place needs a lot of work, so tell Bernie to call the guy at the county clerk's office about the permits I told you. Okay. Do you let me call? I'll explain that I'm your partner. And I just I'll hope the neglected up. spouses of FOS don't feel like I've betrayed their confidence. Really? Would you rather them go somewhere else? No. And it is indeed my aim to help those in need. I just, I just thought when I got into the PI game, it would be a little less sleazy and a little more yeah, glamorous. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how we became the specialists to cheating spouses, <laughs> but we are good at it. Yeah. And. Well, uh, at least we're honest to our clients. No, thank you. Yeah, uh, better us than our less trustworthy competitors. Yeah. Hey, Spinelli, are you going to be able to come with me on stakeouts, or are you still looking for a place to live? I have found a new residence. It's a charming two-bedroom in a great location with a most promising roommate. Ooh, what's he like? Uh, she. He is a she? <laughs> she is mystifying complex, graced with unique insight, boundless ambition, and most crystalline blue eyes. Who came up with the idea for you and Maxie to move in together? The Jack O'Mealy answered an ad for a roommate. She was reluctant at first, but upon further consideration, uh, gladly agreed to the current living arrangement. What made her change her mind? A number of factors. Was Matt Hunter one of them? Maximus may have mentioned that she was interested in having her erstwhile man friend share her. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. So Matt turned her down. She turned to you, and you said yes to make him jealous. Okay, so Maximus might have an ulterior motive, but in truth, in truth, so do I. Uh, of course you do. You're hoping that she will break up with Matt and then rebound with you. Well, of course. I, I've never had full faith in the long-term prospects of that relationship. Spinelli, you've been down this road before. Yeah. And I like the scenery. It's ah. comforting. And, 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 you know, who knows? The road might lead to a more hopeful destination. And? Uh -huh. What if it doesn't? Well, I'd rather be Max Mista's friend and roommate than nothing at all. Really? That's going to be enough for you? The world is seldom a perfect place. Compromises abound. You can't always get what you want, as it were. So, little joy is better than none at all. Is Robin here? She got in last night. You here for your test results? Uh, she uh, texted me, asked me to come here. Jason, did it occur to you that I'd want to try and help my wife? Why didn't you tell me that her HIV levels were unstable? She asked me not to. Yeah, I understand that, but wouldn't you want to know if it was your wife? Robin had to tell you in her own time, in her own way. Actually, Robin didn't tell me. Elizabeth did. How are you feeling? Um, about the same as I was an hour ago. Okay, I'm hovering. Okay, I like it. Uh, that is the ER. I'm gonna have to take that. Can you let me know about his test results? Mm -hmm. Okay, catch up to you later. How are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Good. What? You're not. Tyson, remember her? Oh, yeah, her husband's the pool cleaner, right? Yes. And <laughs> he's still making twice a week calls, and it's midwinter. She's freaking out. Uh, can I be of assistance? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to have to tell him, but I'll, I'll let you know when I dig a little further. Last well, in former days, I could have done extensive research on winter pool care, but not anymore. Well, don't worry, Spinelli. Your cyber skills are going to come back. You know, I don't often dwell in the past, but I, I, I do wish that I could go back and change some events. In my life, you know, make wiser, prudent choices. You, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. It's just it's a little cramp. I guess I didn't need this one. Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Just keep. Oh. Just keep breathing. Oh. Uh, I'm better. You know, the outbursts are less. I'm not as angry, and I really do think my hand is uh, actually improving. Your test results show the opposite. In front of the pier, okay? I'm going to deal with the arson investigators. I'm sorry, I, I got to go. If, if you leave right now, you might be risking your life. 